companies are investing in Ontario because of this growing supply chain, because of the people. They're choosing Ontario because of the investments we're making in skills training, in energy infrastructure, and to build roads and highways. We're investing over $190 billion. Nowhere in North America can say that. $190 billion in roads, in highways, in bridges, in hospitals, in schools, and every other infrastructure, and broadband as well. And uh, we just uh, are going to keep moving forward on this. International companies are setting up shop here, and local companies are expanding because of our competitive business environment. I always say, you cannot tax your way to prosperity. It's never worked anywhere in the world. It doesn't work anywhere here. And we're going to make sure that we're still competitive, creating the environment for the people of Ontario to thrive and prosper and grow. Because of the work our government has done to cut red tape by over a billion dollars a year, to reduce these costs of doing business by $8 billion each and every single year, and for, not, and for cutting, not raising taxes, on the people or businesses. Talk We're the you, only Trudeau. government in the country that has never raised a tax since we've been in office. We will never raise a tax. We will see revenues grow by expanding companies like this and the $43 billion of EV expansion, $20 billion in, in tech, $3 billion in life sciences. And just think, last year, think of this stat here. I love this stat. So last year, the manufacturing of this province, folks like yourself, created more manufacturing jobs here in Ontario than all 50 U.S. states combined. Think of that. That's pretty staggering. And that's never been done before. But I'm going to be very frank. They're catching up to us, so we just got to keep going. It's 50 against one, but we'll still hold our own. And folks, as the world continues to face economic and geopolitical uncertainty here in Ontario, we're going to keep working hard to create the environment for businesses like Goodyear to thrive, prosper, and grow. And when companies thrive, prosper, and grow, so do their associates thrive, prosper, and grow. I have a very simple theory. You have two choices. Either put money back into the people's pocket, and they're going to be doing things they might otherwise not be able to do, as simple as going out for dinner, buying something that they might not be able to buy. The best place to do is put it in your pocket. The worst place to do is give your money to the government. Hell yeah, true. When it comes to companies, <laughs> same thing. You put money back into the company's pockets, they're going to invest in their people, into their infrastructure, into their technology, and that's how we thrive. We're going to keep the momentum going here in Ontario, attracting more EV and auto investments, and creating better jobs and bigger paychecks in every part of our province. Once again, I want to thank you, Goodyear, all your associates, Mark and Laura and your whole team for your investments and for your continued confidence in our province and our workers. Thank you to everyone for joining us today and may God bless the people of Ontario. Thank you so much. Doesn't thank Trudeau. <laughs> Literally gives hand Trudeau the quickest handshake ever.